Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how Nico plays the connector position on Mirage. So let's jump straight into it. So usually when Nico plays the connector, he's going to be going through the A site. And when he does this, he's going to be throwing the first Molotov. And the reason why he throws the first Molotov for his A anchor player is because he wants him to actually keep his utility, right? So Rain still has this Mocha Molotov. And he needs his utility to be able to defend against A execs and things like that. So that's why Nico uses the first Molotov as a connector player. And notice how when Nico crosses over towards connector, he doesn't do it immediately after he throws the Molotov. He actually posts up a little bit after throwing the Molotov, just in the event that, let's just say, the terrorists decide to scrim through the Molotov. Maybe they drop a smoke down and then they fight. Or sometimes they like to send an opper who's going to be willing to step into the fire to go for a pick. Right, so Nico doesn't want to give away his life for free, so he posts up just a little bit just to see if it's safe, and then when he decides that it's safe, then he crosses over towards connector. This is an example of him going through the window towards connector. So he's going to drop a Molotov at the top mid boxes and then drop the smoke at the bottom connector. And this smoke at the bottom connector actually cancels out the Molotov that Terrace like to throw at the bottom connector at the start of the round. And you can see that Nico has a really good angle on anyone who crosses over towards the mid boxes. But in this round here, he actually gets flashed off, so he doesn't have an opportunity. We're gonna see such a uh, we're gonna see a slight variation. So Nico, he's gonna throw a nade top middle. Actually, does a reasonable amount of damage, and then drops the smoke behind him towards the connector. And once again, the same angle. Here, he's actually able to take a shot off on a leech. Doesn't get the kill though. But this is a, a play that you might want to do with an op more, as as long as the terrorists are a little bit sloppy with their utility, as in they don't flash, then an op for sure will be able to get a free kill in this play. Usually from connector, we'll see Nico uh, simply just jiggle peeking with the smoke. So in this round here, a leech, he gets spotted. Nico drops the smoke. He goes for the kill. And you don't always have to go for the kill after you drop the smoke connector. You can just simply fall back and just hold the angle. Here you can also throw your smoke to be able to facilitate a rotate. So in this particular situation, Nico's rotating towards the window side. And you might want to use the smoke to kind of just adjust your setup, right? You want to adjust your setup at B, or maybe you want to adjust your setup at A, where this player can actually go towards the A side instead. This is something neat, where if you want to cross over towards the other side, so if you're on the stairs side, you can jump over towards the jungle side. And you're going to see that from the terrace POV, it's very difficult to, to kill somebody who's jumping over like this. But usually what we're going to see is that Nico, he's going to be dropping his smoke at the bottom of connector, and he uses this as a way to kind of fight towards middle. As the smoke, uh, you know, he threw the more shallow one here, so this gap is quite big for him to fight anybody who goes through the smoke here. But for anybody who goes through the bottom of the connector uh, through middle, he's going to have a huge advantage on them if they decide to go through the smoke here. So once again, you can see him throw the smoke once again. And this one, he uses it to spot uh, if they decide to cross towards the catwalk side. This is an angle that he likes to use. And this one here is actually going to drop it towards here, more towards the center, and use it to spot towards the catwalk. And what I want to highlight here is notice the difference in the smokes that he threw. So this one here, he actually throws it uh, down here, more towards the middle, whereas the previous one that he threw, he actually throws it at the bottom where it bounces up, right? And the real difference between these two is the gap that you get to play with, right? So you can see this one, the more close one, the gap is pretty small, or you can still see over it, but the gap is not as big as the one that he throws here. You can see that the gap is a lot bigger for this one. So uh, you have to decide which one you want to use, right? So the one where it has a bigger gap, maybe you want to use this if you want to act actively fight the players who are going to be going towards the catwalk area. So in this particular round, you're going to see that the terrorists, they simply have pistols. So Nico, he really wants to fight this if they go towards the catwalk area. Whereas in the previous round here where you dropped some more close smoke, Right, you can see that the, the terrorists, they actually have weapons, right? So this is this one's the one that's a bit more safer because the gap isn't as big, right? So the terrorists don't have as clear of a shot to be able to kill you with this smoke in comparison to this one. So really decide that when you're pointing towards the connector, which smoke you want to use. So here's an example where his teammate throws a smoke at the bottom connector, and Nico actually kind, kind of uses it to be able to peek towards the underpass area. And what I want to highlight here is that as he's peeking over, he actually gets hit from a liege, right? And notice how Nico doesn't just panic and start spraying randomly into the smoke. He keeps calm, and he makes sure that in case there's somebody who actually decides to push through the smoke, he's still able to get the kill. If Nico decides to start spamming randomly into the smoke, 
uh, he, there's a chance that somebody would pass to the smoke and be able to get him while he's randomly spraying, right? So you don't want to do that as a connector player. You always want to make sure that even if you're getting shot at, you're keeping calm. So right here is an example where Nico, he's not even going to play in the connector. He's going to play towards the A site. However, he still throws the bottom connector smoke to be able to mask the setup that they're playing in. Right? He doesn't want to uh, give any cues as to what kind of setup they're playing, so he still throws the smoke, even at connector, when he's not playing it. So right here, we're going to see him get flashed off from connector, and now he doesn't have any space to be able to repeat connector as he realizes that he's the only one watching middle here. He doesn't have a catwalk player and doesn't have a window player. So after he gets flashed off here, he realizes that mid control is taken. He doesn't have the space to be able to retake. So what he decides to do instead is he's going to retake towards the A ramp side. He's going to get map control towards A ramp. He's going to peek everything he can to get more aggressive here. As you see the setup from phase, they have three towards A, two towards B. They're just giving up middle completely. So right here we're going to see Nico. He's going to be retaking the connector area. And look at the way that he clears the angles. So first, he clears the bottom right, clears the bottom left, and then up here, and then towards the left. And something to highlight here is that if if there's a terrorist who peeks you from this side, you're going to see their shadow first. So in this fight here, Nico has a huge advantage. He knows exactly when Nitro is going to be peeking. He gets that kill. He also gets a kill palace as well. Here's a reaction towards an A exec. So Nico is going to throw a nade towards the palace area, as it's very common for a player to be towards his palace area during a A exec. And as well, he's going to throw a flash for his player who's playing towards default. And his player towards default can use this as a flash to fight if he wants to. And as well, he's going to drop a smoke towards the bench area because it's very common that uh, when CTs throw this smoke towards bench, they're trying to fight behind it. But notice what Nico does here instead. Instead, he's going to be waiting towards this middle area because it's very common that when an A exec happens, that there's going to be a terrace that's just lurking around towards this middle area. In this particular round, you're going to see that the player is actually more still towards upper B. But Nico, he's still waiting for this. And you're going to see that Brokey as well, he's still waiting towards the window area to see where this mid lurker is going to be because you want to take out this mid guy before you worry about the A site because if this mid guy gets the kills on you towards middle or connector it's just the round is over for you guys basically so they want to make sure that they clear out this middle before they deal with the A site where they could be in a retake scenario so here we're going to see that Nico drops the smoke towards the bottom connector and sometimes he'll make his way towards the window and the plays that he has at window are interesting because what he does is that he will go into the smoke and just wait for it to fade before making his move. So I'll try to time the smoke so that as soon as it fades, then he's going to have an opportunity to fight. So here we're going to see them go towards catwalk. As soon as the smoke fades, Nico has an angle on twist. He takes him down. Once again, this is something similar. Goes towards the window, hides behind the smoke. And as after it starts fading here, where they move up towards the connector area, he decides that he's going to push through the window smoke here, down towards the bottom connector, and then find the flank onto these players. So this is something that you might want to do if you don't have much utility, right? If you have utility, you can still fight off the connector with a smoke and with a smoke or a Molotov if you didn't go through A ramp. So if you go towards towards the window side, you can basically just play more of an aggressive setup after the smoke fades. And in this particular round, after uh, the terrorist take connector, he simply just flanks the connector push, right? So this that's another option that you have as a connector player. You see, you're going to see because of this, uh, Liquid, they basically don't expect it. And right here, he's able to get this last kill onto Stewie as well. And that pretty much sums it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw, please drop a like on this video. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.